Hi everybody and welcome to another Tony's Tidbits and today I'm looking at the Voigtlander VC Meter Mark II which is currently available to buy purchase brand new uh, this one is in black, you can get it in silver and it comes in a nice little box with an instruction manual a set of batteries, it takes two LR44s or SR44s and it comes with some spare screws and they are for the mounting bracket on the bottom in case you lose these screws because this can be adjusted when you purchase it new it comes with this bracket over to the right slightly uh, I've repositioned it more central which I think makes sense to me the metering cell is at the front here and it uses a silicon photodiode cell which is very sensitive from EV1 up to EV20 and the angle of view is roughly about 30 degrees which equates to a focal length on a full frame or FX camera of around 65 to 68 millimeter lens so that gives you an idea what uh, area you are measuring to take a reading use the button on the back and you then can adjust these dials on the right side it represents the shutter speed dial and that goes in click stops from one second up to one two thousandths of a second and the left dial represents the aperture and that ranges from f1 all the way up to f22 and there's no click stops for the aperture because on most lenses you can adjust the aperture in between stops so you can get a, a precise measurement in the centre of the aperture dial is the ISO or ASA speed setting which you would set first and to do that you just hold the dial and using this little pin on top of this dial you can move the dial around to show the ASA speed setting that you want I'm using two SA, uh, 200 ASA speed film these are the lights that show you the measurement uh, the exposure reading and you've got three uh, if I just press the button to show you what happens uh, you've got the one on the right which is pointing to the left uh, that showing that the reading is currently underexposed and as you move the dials either dial and it corresponds correctly to the way you move the dial as well as you can see move it to the left and it goes to the left move it that way and it moves to the right and the correct exposure is deemed when the green only the green light is on so you can move either aperture or shutter speed depending on whether you want to make the aperture the priority in the exposure or the shutter speed is more necessary and I would take the reading say so to get that so it's green and then uh, you could take the reading from the central mark so that's showing an F 5.6 at fifteenths of a second but obviously it's very easy because of the other marks to take an alternative reading with the same exposure so in other words you can get f2.8 at one sixth of a second so it's very easy to use as you press the button it takes a reading at that point where you're pointing at so you press it and it holds that reading it doesn't move no matter if I move the meter uh, you do have time, you've got about 8 seconds to um, move the one of the dials to get the green light on correctly and then it owes it for 8 seconds uh, if you let the light go out and you move it within 30 seconds it brings back the reading uh, but it's the same reading as what when you pressed the button before if you want to, to do a continuous reading then you have to hold this orange button in so you hold it in and you can then move around the scene you want him to expose for and assess where um, what area is important to you to, to take the reading from to show you on a camera this is a, a camera that you would use it on something like this which is a 1960 Canon P which doesn't have a meter so you could fit that onto the shoe at the top slide it on and it looks very nice on these old cameras I was previously using this Siconic 
twin mate L208 which is a nice meter uh, it's very light actually it's made of all plastic but it's quite a lot bigger as you can see and it looks very modern so it doesn't suit these old cameras very well so if you was using this let's say for example I was taking a reading here uh, I've got a f2.8 maximum aperture lens here I'm indoors so I would probably set f2.8 on the aperture so I would set my dial the left dial to 2.8 in the center then I would take the reading pressing the button and then I can adjust my shutter speed to show a green light and that's showing one theaters per second so I've already got the aperture set on the lens and then I would set one third of a second on the shutter dial and then I'm ready to take the picture so it's a nice little meter um, it's quite expensive actually this cost me 205 pound in the UK so it's very expensive it's made of all metal uh, let me just show you I've got to show you where the batteries go in the bottom here and you just push this cover towards the arrow and that pops up so you can put the batteries in according to the symbols on the top of the cover and as I did mention the, the shoe does move you can take out these three chrome screws and then you take out two black ones and you can move that across to a different setting uh, put the screws back in uh, and that obviously is important depending on where your shutter dial is on the camera it may be important that you don't cover the shutter dial so you can move the shoe across a little bit that's the Voigtlander VC Meter 2. Hope you've enjoyed this little video just to cover it and uh, hope to catch you again soon.